If you have those handouts and you want to refer to something in them, that's very, very welcome. But anything that's there from your, your breakout rooms, from our discussion earlier, is, is welcome. I'm appreciating uh, that, that distinction that you brought, Lynn, around the kind of tending to the whole conversation, like tending to the conversation as another entity that's present. And uh, in, our, in our breakout room, Elizabeth prompted me, it's like, well, there's also the, the culture that we're in that can be tended, like that's the even larger context. I'm like, whoa. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one, one distinction I learned from another kind of uh, work that's like call the circling is kind of like there's a way that we can contact. I guess I'm using like a Comey concept, like contact, if anyone's familiar, uh, or like kind of a name or kind of be with that larger thing and name the thing that's kind of that I, I might see that's present that may be also present for others. Like at the, towards the end of the conversation, I was hearing lots of people. Uh, pointing at, at a wrestling in themselves of like, what do I say here? Like, this is a, such a hard place for me, whether let's say I don't know what to say because I don't know how to relate or there is something in me that just feels so strongly that I, I don't know how to bring that without like crushing the other person or like, if there's just a silence, like what do I do? And there's this kind of wrestling that um, we were, many people were talking about um, mm -hmm. So I guess like one of the things of like, maybe that's like naming the larger things and kind of uh, seeing if I can almost demonstrate what I'm pointing at. Mm -hmm. um, and in that, in, in the kind of wrestling, there's this interesting distinction or separation that sometimes I notice in like a lot of in conversations with the people that I've talked about kind of like, there's the part in me that's like, what do I say? And it's almost like the, what do I say part is trying to generate some output of, oh, the thing I say is X, Y, Z. And somehow there's a separation between the wrestling and the thing that I say. And um, in circling world, something that's been super helpful and felt so rich to me and a freedom that came is that they're like, oh, you can just say the thing that is the happening, like focusing style. Like, oh, there's something in me that's like wrestling with what to say right now. And I think that's exactly what uh, I'm looking around. Kate, Katie, that's exactly what you're like. I, I, don't, uh, I don't know what to say, don't relate. Uh, and mm -hmm. that brings, that is the in-between conversation. That's not just uh, uh, talking about something. It's the thing that's happening right here. What Jean calls talking from your experience rather than about something talking from something. Since this is our uh, last meeting, um, I want to try not being the one, this is, this is sort of like a, a step forward, not being the one to reflect and to hold all of the strands together just for 10 minutes. We're gonna try um, all of us doing that. So I'm, I'm, I'm sort of uh, deputizing all of you to have my job as the host. So all of you are gonna be in charge of, you know, reflecting, putting the strands together, inviting people. And let's just see how that is. And that's a big risk to me because I always, I'm a, I, I'm afraid that uh, if I don't hold the strands, you know, that they'll that they'll get like in crochet, you know, that they'll get lost or something. So I'm going to take a risk in the next uh, seven minutes um, during this conversation to just see what happens if all of you do my job. So Lynn, what you're saying is. Oh. You're wanting to experiment with not being the person who who um, uh, 
responds and receives and, and make sure that threads um, don't drop. And, and, and there's, it's a risk, it feels like a risk. Mm -hmm. that there's, yeah. Yes. I feel very met. And I, I'm, I'm just experimenting with trying to take a screen full of people in rather than zeroing in on my own little box. Mm. Mm -hmm. So maybe. Uh, oh, you go. Uh, oh, who was who was talking? You talk. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Hi. <laughs> we just met in the breakout room. Yes, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah. I was I was gonna say like. Um, so first of all, I, I kind of had to laugh a little bit that that Lynn said that for seven whole minutes he's going to do this experiment. <laughs> Courageous. <laughs> yeah, so, and, um, and then, yeah, Laura was kind of jumping right in. And um, so, and I feel like, oh, yeah, well, Apart from that, laughing about it, there's something in me that feels like, oh, oh, that's something of a responsibility here, you know. It feels different, Lynn, when you say that, and, and like that we all, all together, you know, have that have that task or something. And, uh, so. Uh, I don't know what to do with it except for just I'm I'm just gonna ask somebody to to say something. So mm -hmm. um, um, and I don't know who because I want to ask so many people, but um, maybe I'll ask um, Anna. Anna, what is there something you would like to say or something from this evening what we have done so far? You call on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anna. Yes. Yeah. I, well, I I would like to to hear what Rachel is 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 keeping there. <laughs> so <laughs> it it was it was there. So just, yeah, just back to Lara's response to Lynn, and then Yoko coming in. Also, it it feels like gathering around a Christmas tree or something, or it just feels like. <laughs> holding up one another but it there's this sensation of um or an experience i'm having of uh, like uh, delight uh, something close to delight and and love like seeing people who i love who i know all here together and having lynn risk and laura save the day uh, and be right there with like it's just it's it's sort of like watching people you like meet and I don't know it's something like seeing your children playing with other children not but or like your I don't know it's something where I feel a sort of pride and oh pride and joy I've never said those together but my mom used to say that all the time but some kind of pride and joy in in experiencing and witnessing the the interaction, the, the willingness to meet each other. So that was a ton of words. Maybe Anna, you wanna take back when you hear what I have to say, but it's, it's like a pleasure. And that feels like a living conversation and, and kind of great fun to, to be with. I, Rachel, you bring me a lot of joy, like all the idea of the Christmas tree and all together playing and everything. And 
what I, the word that I'm taking the most from these uh, three times together is risk. Mm. The children take risk. They don't even, they don't even think if they're going to cut themselves or kill themselves mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, and, and, you know, I, well, I, I, I don't know if, well, I want to share with you my, my father died six months ago and, and life has been a little bit hectic. Rachel knows lately with my family and, and everything. And there is something I want to take out from all this. Like every day is precious and I'm willing to take the risk. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if the other person like my taking my risk or not. But I think I want to cry when I want to cry. I want to gel when I want to gel. I want to be upset when I want to be upset. And I really want to take the risk. And maybe if I take the risk, people will start taking the risk also. And being available and honest and different. Mm. And, and I was sharing with Marta that I spent three months in New York. And I felt like... like um, like people, like, well, I can, I can say everyone, but I walking in the streets, I was, I was feeling like, like really lonely. No one see you in the eyes. No one say hello. No one, no mm -hmm. one even cares about you. So the homeless were my best friends. Mm. I get to sit down by them and say, hi, how are you? How, how's your day? I don't even, even give them money. But they respond and were, they were happy about our, our connection. But the homeless were more available than people walking in the streets. Mm -hmm. Like they were like everyone in their cell phones, uh, hooked with some, something else in their drama or the dilemma. And so I took the risk to speak with the homeless. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of fun. So thank you, Rachel, for bringing that joy and that excitement. And I want to take the risk. This is Martha. Um, I'm not, this isn't real a reflection of the, of the conversation, but what has happened here for me is that in taking risk and seeing people, seeing the individuals open themselves up and take a risk and being seen and how each person has been received. And for me, this is like the perfect world that to be able to take a risk and be held and doing it and supported while doing it, even if it, even if, you know, like it's a flop, but it's, I don't even know, like it's when you, when I take a risk and I feel supported, no matter what the outcome, it's different. It doesn't feel like I failed. It just feels like I did something brave, mm -hmm. no matter what the outcome. Yeah. It feels to me like what you were saying, Martha, like taking a risk it feels like it's never a flop because just by doing it, it didn't flop. Like even if what you said, people don't exactly understand or get or agree with, it's just the, it's just the act of doing it, you know, mm -hmm. that, that makes it not be a flop, like makes it a success, you know? And I just want to go back to what Monica said too about, um, I think like Monica took that big risk before to bring up the, the earring story, you know, the <laughs> earring story and, and then Lynn named it the, the earring principle. <laughs> and it's just something about that to me that's like, I'm never going to look at a pair of earrings the same way again. And <laughs> I just, <laughs> find that to be like, oh, that's the earring principle. And like, just like there's something in the, the giggle of it, the laughing of it. And what um, 
Yoke said too about Lynn's giving this time the, the big risk of seven minutes to us. And just sometimes when there's humor in things, like I know humor can cover things up, but sometimes humor can be really like uniting. And I just want to say that that's here for me too. Well, since Martha took a risk, I'll take a risk and speak. Um, I, um, what, what I'm getting is what really is involved in having a, an open um, conversation, a live conversation. And um, Rachel with her, you know, throwing a softball instead of spiking it at somebody. And I, it's something for me, um, for me to learn that, you know, if I feel really strongly about something, I can get, um, I, I have to learn to listen and to be receptive also to the other person. And even if I don't agree and won't agree, and um, it was Kate who said, I think, I don't know how to respond right now, but I'm with you. I guess it's a Jen Lin quote. And um, that's, that's very helpful. Um, the other thing I find is, I realized is when you have a real personal uh, connection with the subject under discussion, for instance, um, Isabel is talking about Haitians and I have a, a very close relationship with a, per, with a person who's in Haiti and was deported and um, we're working to get him back. And, I, it's it's not it's very hard to be you know be able to listen to someone who says oh those people you know they shouldn't be here you know they don't belong here or whatever why did they come here and they should come here legally and blah 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 blah, blah whatever and um, you know how to sort of gain some perspective to be able to listen it's just really hard when it's personal. Um, speaking of personal, um, Monica, I just wanted to respond to you um, about your feeling uh, people in New York weren't really friendly to you. And as, as a New Yorker for many years, you know, that makes me feel sad that you didn't feel uh, welcomed or that you could speak to people in New York. Um, I think New Yorkers are some of the nicest people in the world. I think that they just, you know, sometimes there's so much stimulation going on around that it can seem that uh, they're not as available. I wish I could have met you on the bus. Um, and I'm also, uh, really glad that all those homeless people had a kind, a lovely person who took the time to sit down and see them as equal human beings because they are. And to sit down and spend the time to talk with them. I wish more of us would do the same. So just wanted to, to thank you for that, for, for being a New Yorker in that way and reaching out to others. So come back, you really need to stay in New York for four months to really feel like you can talk to anybody. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I love, I know beautiful people in New York, beautiful. Well, Lynn is from New York, Rachel is from New York, my teacher is from New York, Charlotte. Well, she lives in New York, but anyway, um, I, well, I, I don't have to self blame myself and I didn't want it to be offensive to anyone. And that's part of what we were talking in this spontaneity that sometimes we can say something that can be offensive for someone else. So because of your lovely response, I, I really want to explain myself. You know, I don't have to, to go to New York to be to feel like I'm with sleeping people around me. Believe me, in my family, there's a lot of members that does that. <laughs> so it doesn't 
probably it's not about New York. It's about feeling isolated in a, in a world where everyone is cut off. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people is cut off with a with a television, this, that, that, business, rush, pressure, uh, kids. Uh, uh, so, so yes, it's a kind of feeling isolated uh, when everyone, well, not, I don't wanna say everyone. Some of the people are disconnected and I'm trying to make a connection. So it's not about New York, believe me, I have family members that I feel so isolated when I'm with them. Thank you, Clara, for making the, thank you so much. And for sure, I will come back. Lynn knows that I go very often. Mm -hmm. So next time I see you. Thank you, Monica, yeah. And thank you for explaining that, um, that really, uh, I really get that, you know, how, um, you know, we don't have to be in a big city to feel um, like disconnected from others when people are just not present, you know. And I, I do think in very big cities, it can be harder when you're feeling isolated to feel even more so, you know. So, yeah, so thank you. Thank you, really. Uh, hello, everybody. It's BJ. I, uh, when we were first getting uh, ready to begin the class, someone, I think Miriam, said her daughter was getting married and she was not planning to go. And so there was a kind of an awkwardness for a moment and we went forward because there was a, um, a larger purpose for the entire group at the time. But and I'm only on my phone. I can't see anyone. But Miriam, if you're still here, I just want you to know that I heard that. And if there's something you'd like to say further about it, it would be lovely to hear. BJ, I don't think Miriam. Miriam left. Miriam left. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Then I'm done. But thank you for naming that, BJ. That's... Mm -hmm. That seemed like something um, that would that would have been nice to hear more about, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And it's been a little while um, since um, since Jonathan spoke, and I and uh, just I, I may not recall everything, but I I do want to um, reflect back about um, that kind of um, what 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 you were saying, Jonathan, about um, the, our struggles and, and the wrestling with, to use your, your, your phrase, about um, uh, around the, I don't know what to say. And uh, that, that varying people were, were speaking about. And, um, and then you also sp spoke about the, um, that kind of notion of the con um, the conversation and a certain sense having a life that we're part of, but also it's bigger mm -hmm. than us and that kind of thing. And, and uh, um, yeah, and how we can find our, and the, and the struggles or the challenges of finding our way into that messy thing. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. And um, I'm going to say it because there, you know, Monica, we were speaking about losing your father and a certain kind of rawness and vulnerability that may also have been part of your connecting with people. And um, I, um, I, I shared this story about um, an, old, uh, an old friend of mine who was, um, I walked in to visit him in the hospital. He was suffering it's about 17 years ago now and he had cancer and and I'd walked into the um to the uh the, the his room and just after the doctors were leaving and telling him that um uh, that the treatment that they were giving was not going to work 
And so it was just after that. And I said to my friend, his name was Obi, I said uh, to him, I don't know what to say. And I'm going to share what I often share on his behalf is he said, that's okay, Steve, in matters like this, we're all fools. <laughs> and so I think there's something very powerful about that. Mm. Yeah, we're all fools. So, but um, can still show up. So that was alive for me in an existential kind of way. Well, since the seven minutes are up, I think maybe nine, <laughs> I want to say I, I love that as a way of closing our workshop that in matters like this, living conversation, we're all fools and we're all so wise. I want to thank you for um, uh, catching me as I was... Um, as I was leaping uh, in my risk of not being the coordinator here and uh, just appreciating everybody's dancing together and holding the dance and catching each other and catching the ball and all of these metaphors that we've been mixing. This has been really a wonderful experience to me and I loved the best of it. I loved when I took my risk of not being the coordinator and just being part of the conversation. So it, we have only about two minutes. So anything that anybody wants to say as a closing, um, a closing uh, words, uh, this is this is the time. I'd like to say thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. Thank you. For me, it seems that uh, you know this personal uh, experiences of Monica and Ms. Steve and uh, um, I forgot her name, but um, you know got got personal that that it kind of felt like it brought us together. Mm. So, you know that you know this bringing us together. Yes, was, thank you. Uh, was, was great. That's one, some wonder, a wonderful principle to sort of take with us also beside the earring principle that uh, the personal brings us together. I have to jump off into another meeting. And I just wanted to thank everybody for being part of these conversations that felt like, kind of like I was telling my group, like a, like when you focus where it feels like, this feels like there's really something here that's really important to me. And it's not, not quite in focus yet, but it, it feels very meaningful. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I want to mirror that, but feel that way too. Something really important that isn't in focus yet, but maybe can't be quite in focus. And I want to thank all of you and uh, invite, there are a couple of places left in our community empowerment training that will be six sessions that you'll be committing to every other uh, Wednesday, and we have a few slots left. Uh, if you can join us, we'll be continuing sort of from in this vein uh, and furthering it. And um, I think, uh, Olivia, you're going to be doing the helpers group on Monday morning, right? Yeah. Uh, Olivia is, uh, is going to be doing a reflection for the helpers group from 8.15 to 
9.45 on Monday morning. Please join if you're in the, in the right sphere. Uh, and uh, hope to see you all soon in one way or another. And thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank everybody. You. Can, yeah, you, can. you can unmute yourselves and say whatever you want to say all together as we <laughs> as we leave. Thank you all so much. You've each given so much, and and it's really made a huge difference. Mm. Each person who's spoken or not spoken. Mm. Thank you, Jane. Mm. Thank you all. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye